On top of that, we have a program that makes use of the green squares on our play field. The, when, the light sense, when both light sensor sensors black, it means that there is an intersection. The robot will then move back to, se to sense the green squares. If the left sensor senses the green square, the robot will turn left. And if the sensor, right sensor senses the green square, it will turn right. If both sensors sense the green square, it will make a U-turn and if both don't sense anything, it will just move forward. For the ball pickup evacuation, we use a third and fourth sensor on the door, which checks for the colors of the balls below. When sensor is white, the door will remain open and the ball will move forward so that the ball will enter the cage. However, if the sensor senses orange, the third motor will move forward and the door will close. The robot will then continue moving forward and push forward, push the ball along. The robot moves back and forth in a sweeping motion throughout the evacuation zone and eventually it ends up at the evacuation point. Once the robot reaches the evacuation point, the cage and the balls are all over the evacuation point. Its third motor will raise and the robot will reverse. The balls will then be in the evacuation point. The rope. There will be two different programs, one for reaching the green exit end and one for reaching the blue exit end. I will now show you the test runs of the program. So this program is a test of our light tracing. And this is a test of our robot's ability to collect the balls. Last but not least, this test shows our robot's capability to push away obstacles. These are the people who helped make this happen. Nanhua High School, Nanhua Robotics Club, Miss Elaine Chung, Google Slides, Samsung Video Editor, and the Lego Company. We hope that through this sharing, you have a better understanding of our program and the logic behind our design choices and features. See you soon. Thank you. This is Team O signing off.